Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for early Monday morning, still late Sunday night my time, but Monday morning for anyone else who is going to watch this. We're going to take a closer look at Tropical Cyclone Funza, which is becoming a fairly major event down here in the Southern Hemisphere. Here he is spinning away clockwise over here as the sun is up in Eastern Africa, just over afternoon there. Madagascar is over here, and uh, Mozambique is the country over here on the eastern part of Africa. And uh, this storm is now coming back out over the water. It came in here here came pretty much inland just barely and now it's curving back out basically eastward over the water now and should eventually curve down in a more southerly direction during the next few days but overall the story with the storm has been very slow movement it's been around for days now and has brought a ton of rain to this part of the country and we're going to show that in a minute but right now let's look at how this is going to develop because this is probably going to strengthen quite a bit as it comes south or the eye is redeveloping as you can see clearly here minus 80 celsius cloud tops are developing in the CDO right now which means the core is starting to rebuild and once it closes off the eye wall entirely it's probably going to intensify quite fast back into a major tropical cyclone it's probably it's a cat 2 right now according to the joint typhoon warning center it will probably be a cat 3 or 4 as it peaks coming southward here over warmer waters and it's in a great environment right now. You can see that there's a trough out here. You see the little little bit of a clockwise curve to the jet stream down here. This is a trough leaving a very nice arcing band of anti anticyclonically curving wind in the upper levels out here which is really helping the outflow coming out of this system in the poleward direction and you can see the really great equatorial channel as well back here very great outflow in all directions and you can see the low level convective bands coming into it even on the southern side the only real dry air that's hanging around is way down here and that's not getting sucked into the core right now as seen by these bands that are continuing to bring moist air off the water and here on the southern side so dry air isn't an issue for this system at the moment and this will probably have a great chance to strengthen as it comes southward. The current sea surface temperatures show that uh, there was up upwelling that occurred under the system. It sat too long and churned up cold water underneath it and uh, weakened himself and these yellow colors are a good four degrees Celsius colder than the reds down here so that definitely was a problem but you can see that there is a lot of warm water in the track of this system as it comes southward that will probably allow it to re-strengthen quite easily if it is given any time which so far it looks like it's going to have because of weak steering currents. The, this is the rainfall that we've had for the last week in eastern Africa. Look at these rain totals in northern, northeastern Mozambique here, maxing out the scale on the high end here at over 300 millimeters. Uh, for us English people, that's over a foot, if not more than that, probably 18 inches in some local spots here so far along the coastline. And it's still coming down there as the spiral bands continue to scrape off the northwestern quad of Funzo. And this is going to be around for a while until he finally comes far enough south to give them a a break but then the southern part of the country is going to get more from Funzo as the track takes it fairly close. These are the model tracks here. You can see try to bring it south in that general direction but there is a little bit of a bend back towards the coast here and thus southern Mozambique still needs to be nervous about this system because steering currents are weak and there's a lot going on here. It's not a full, it's not a clean recurve, not a fast recurve. This is the European 500 millibar day 5. You can see the storm here and look at how close to the coastline it is. And this is a tough forecasting situation because you can see we have a shortwave trough exiting over here. We have a trough coming into South Africa. And so there's a little bit of ridging trying to build to the cyclone south. And that's going to try to bend it back westward towards southern Mozambique before trying to make its recurve. At which point it will eventually recurve southeastward here. But until then it's going to be a very slow track and trying to bend back towards the coast. So the, there's going to be some nervous moments for these folks down here and uh, the European European actually takes this inland 24 hours later by day 6. Uh, the European, some of the UK men ensembles, and uh, the Japanese model, the JMA, all still take this inland with the other models just having a clean recurve out to the southeast here. Remains to be seen. It's hard to take a pick on this right now because of how messy the upper airflow is. But you can see the jet stream is not really anywhere to be seen near southern Africa here. So there's not a lot to take this out quickly. And thus there is a lot of worry that this could indeed get pretty close to the coastline if not an actual landfall. And thus a lot of heavy rain and wind and all that is going to be a problem down here. And this could be a very major cyclone approaching land and thus is going to be quite a big deal. So we will be keeping an eye on this very closely over the next few days. This will be the big story in the southern hemisphere tropics uh, for a while to come.
Now we're also going to be dealing with some trouble off near Western Australia. Look at the sea surface temperature anomalies. Let me bring this down so you can see the scale. You can see this orange here. This is about 3 Celsius above normal in some of these hot spots here off Western Australia. Very warm water here and uh, we could probably even use the word hot to describe this water given its relative warmth here and therefore it's not really that surprising to see that if we look at the European out to day 6 this is the ensemble mean mean sea level pressure and you can see a massive area of uh, sub 1000 millibar pressures over here off Western Australia and the operational at this time has a hurricane force cyclone trying to make landfall near South I forgot the name South Head South Headmark or some city over here I'm sorry I'm, I still don't have my geography all straight for this area of the world but there's a lot of upward motion going on right now lots of convective activity and you can see a lot of heat buildup being shown by the model remember low pressures indicate that air is being removed from the area and is being exhausted aloft which indicates rising air and upward motion that promotes tropical activity and thus we may have to be dealing with a storm in this area threatening Western Australia and waters are plenty warm all north of about this line here and that may be something for them to watch too. You can see the GFS showing by day seven here a week out. Look at all the low pressures here. These are the sea level pressure anomalies here. Blue indicating below normal. You can see all this going on. It has some storm trying to come in here. That was the tropical nature that came out of this basin and uh, all in general the Indian Ocean way below normal here with the sea level pressure because of all the warm water that we've been seeing here. Remember this winter has been full of the theme that the Indian Ocean is much warmer than it's supposed to be at the end of a second year La Nina and yet it is this warm and it's promoting low pressures and you notice that the high pressures are still here in the central and eastern Pacific and what does that indicate? That indicates a positive SOI, Southern Oscillation Index, where pressures are high at Tahiti and low over here at Darwin and in general the very strong walker circulation here, sinking motion in the east and rising motion and convection in the west and that's why we're seeing all this tropical trouble in this area of the world and you can see that in the SOI daily values we had it going down here and uh, some suggested that this might show the end of the La Nina but it's still going strong it's not leaving yet you can see the values are coming back up they always have a negative moment in the La Nina's you can't get away without it going negative at some point for a week or so but they are back up and uh, the pattern is still very much La Nina oriented and will continue that way likely through the spring at which point we will probably finally see it weaken more towards a neutral state and possibly teasing an El Nino phase for this summer at which point that will be of interest for the northern hemisphere tropical cyclone seasons but right now it's all about the southern hemisphere and the Indian Ocean and Australian basins which are having a lot of activity right now and the big story will be Funzo as it spins up and becomes a major cyclone possibly impacting southern Mozambique after already raking the northern part of the country with heavy rains and wind for at least several days already so this is a big deal for them we will continue to watch this very closely over the next several days alright that's it for today thanks for watching